Hi, I'm Kristen, and I'm doing a video response vlog to Cy922 and his vlog, Why We Need to Vlog. So, Cy brings up a couple of good points. For one, of the positive attributes that vlogging has, you can get different information from different individuals, so you're not getting a biased opinion on anything, like you might when you look at the news, for instance. Um... It's also another form of communication, so it helps you connect with people. Also, you can better reflect on yourselves when you do blogs and you come back to them and you see how you used to be or that your opinions have changed or anything like that. It's kind of like a photo. A um, couple negative aspects of vlogging that you bring up are, one, it's very public. So you have the potential of danger in that aspect when you let strangers come into your life and view you. There could be stalkers out there for one. Also, some vlogs are not very serious, um, but they can be entertaining though, so I'll give it that. Um, and another is that you pose the question, what is real? Is it really a one-on-one -on -one interaction with someone or is it kind of superficial in a way? I agree with Cy922 when he says that it helps us reflect better on ourselves when we make vlogs. It's there to help us look back at who we were and who we wanted to be at that time. It enhances our perception of ourselves. We're actually looking from the outside in instead of the inside out like we do all the time. The video is essentially like a photograph. We go back to a time and a place where we were during that time when we made the video, the vlog. So it's definitely a method of self-discovery in that sense. Vlogs are a great source of information. Through this medium, we're able to educate each other. We're able to share thoughts and ideas and opinions and maybe even spark a little bit of uh, emotion within your viewer. Another way that vlogging enhances us as individuals is that it helps us to break out of our shell a little bit. In the book, The Art of Loving by Eric Fromm, he talks about how you should exhibit courage throughout your daily life. And I believe by vlogging, you're being courageous. You're putting yourself out there for others to judge you. So in that sense, you open up a little bit to others around you, to criticism, to critiques. I think it, um, it's beneficial to people who are more introverted than extroverted. For both the viewer and the vlogger, vlogging and watching vlogs can take up a significant amount of your time, if you let it. You have to be careful to not let it consume all of your time. You have to set limits as to when you can go on the internet and watch vlogs or post vlogs. Um, because if you don't, your study habits can suffer. Your job can suffer if that's what you're constantly doing on the computer while you're supposed to be working. Or even your relationships can suffer as well if you're not spending time with that significant other if you're too busy with your virtual reality you may lose a touch with true reality there's almost always the possibility of conflict occurring when you're putting your own thoughts and beliefs onto the internet people may not agree with you and you with them for that matter and because others are able to post comments on vlogs and videos most of the time you almost always have to be mentally ready to accept criticism, whether it be positive or negative. Like I had previously stated, vlogs are sort of like photographs in a way. They uh, take you back to a time and a place. They uh, resurface those feelings that you once felt while you were making that vlog. Months, maybe even years later after making the vlog, you uh, go back to it and you notice how much you've changed as a person. Or maybe you haven't changed at all as a person. Maybe you've gained more knowledge of the certain subject you vlogged about and now your opinions have changed. Your views on that subject have changed. You as a person have changed. Um, they're like little home movies in a sense and it's beneficial for everyone to kind of look back into their past and say who they were, who they wanted to be, and who you are now. With any new form of communication, old methods tend to go out of style. And I think with the creation of vlogging and also with the help of emailing, we t 
tend to uh, neglect handwritten letters now. We just don't feel the need to write a letter that will take three to four days, depending on where it's going, to reach your your viewer, if you want to call it that. And um, with emails and vlogs, you can pretty much communicate instantaneously and to a wider, wider uh, group of people as well. And also with the use of vlogs and the internet, um, I believe more and more people are coming away from television and spending more time on the internet and I think that's probably negatively affecting television ratings. Vlogging, this fairly new form of communication, is highly effective in communicating thoughts and ideas between individuals. I believe people can be expressive and creative and educate through their vlogs. Vloggers ultimately find themselves in the process of vlogging.